Vinny, are you ready to hit up that rush? That kingdom rush? That... Dat Frontiers? No, fuck that. Dat... Div tier... Stop. No, I got nothing. Dat... Dat whatever is my least favorite internet saying after feels. I think my least favorite internet saying is best thing ever, worst thing ever. Yeah. Because it has gotten rid of any... Any middle ground. Yeah, sure. You can't say like, hey, check this out. It's okay. That happened. So that's a thing. Uh, I all I, the feels. I lament the loss of any kind of like intelligent discourse. No, 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 no. Just even <laughs> this is the internet, Brad. I don't know if that's ever been. There. <laughs> no, just the fact that like everything needs to either be the best thing or the worst yeah, thing, and okay. there's no shade. You can't have everything. Can't be the best thing ever. Yeah. And I feel like anybody who posts anything can't be like, hey, check this out. It's kind of cool. You can't be quietly optimistic about anything well, just, anymore. It just needs to be the best. I, I understand it, because like, you're fighting against so much stuff, right? Yeah, well, you know why? Why? Because of reasons. Is this the best thing ever? Oh, my God. We're getting away from what matters here, Kingdom which Rush. is that I am so goddamn excited that this game is out. So you're a you big fan. You don't even know. You're a big fan of Kingdom Rush. Oh, my God. It's so good. Kingdom Rush or this game? Uh, well, both. Um, so this is very iterative. Let me show you how iterative. Does that look familiar? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> is it not only the same items for uh, for sale in the in the gnome shop, but the same artwork? So iterative, we should really explain that this is a full on sequel, a new it, it, release. Yeah, yes. Of it is. The, this is the full sequel. I mean, it doesn't say Kingdom Rush Two, but it might as well be. Okay. Um, how much is this? Let's get that. Out of it's two ninety nine on iPhone and uh, four ninety nine on iPad. Do you, if you buy the, the iPad version, is there like the multi device version? Uh, well, the so the iPhone version will run on both, and okay. that's how I that's how I played the first Kingdom Rush. I just played the iPhone version on my iPad, and okay. it works fine. Uh, but this HD version is way better. If you're just going to play it on an iPad, you should totally pay the extra two dollars. But uh, uh, if you buy both, can they sync up or anything? No, like there's okay. sadly, I'm I'm pretty bummed that there's still no cross device like okay. iCloud support for saves. Well, let's. But I, I played through that first game twice from start to finish, and yeah. almost played it a third time. So can we uh, can we back up just for my benefit back sure. to the store, uh, the shop? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, had to have the prices increased for um, buying in. Because they were they always no, seemed, well, so Kingdom Hearts seemed kind of reasonable. These to buy gem, gems. these gem prices are the same. Like the the cost of the items, like the scepter, the chill wand is still two fifty. Like the, those are all the same. Uh, I haven't looked at. No, I mean the dollars. That's what I mean. Yeah. I haven't looked at that yet. Where is that? Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Uh, I never bought bulk gems. Okay. So I don't remember, but I think that's the same pricing. Well, they, they um, have they have. Uh, it seems like they're not doing one of the worst things ever. Which is, which is uh, that ninety nine dollar the ninety nine dollar purchase, like one ninety nine purchase, which which doesn't even get you everything. It just gives you a bunch of gems. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they are still selling heroes, so so it's just like the first game. You've got uh, three, uh, free heroes, or you know, three heroes included with the game that you pay for. Uh, Different heroes, though. But then the you know the the more powerful the hero as you go along here, these heroes are three bucks each. I yeah. think there's uh, that guy's five. Wow. That guy's five. The big ugly dragon is seven. I don't know. That seems kind of cool. Uh, but if you look at his stats, I mean, look at that. That guy has that guy has almost twice the health of my uh, free guy. And so you can get him right out of the gate and just play the regular level. Yeah, I could pay seven bucks and just have him. You don't um, even have to get up to a certain point to buy him. Uh, actually, the, you know what? I don't know actually because uh, you start with only this guy and you get her like uh, four missions in, and then mm -hmm. I just got him a couple missions ago. Okay. Um. I am really enjoying Mirage, so I haven't even tried these uh, other guys. Like this guy, I guess, is a beast master. He can spawn these other animals to help him. Uh, one of the big new things is uh, you've got skill trees for the heroes now. Remember how in the... I know you played some of the first game. Remember how... You had skill trees for your towers and stuff. Well, yeah, but all that stuff d d reset at the beginning of every level, you know? Like heroes started at level one in every mission and leveled up over the course of that mission. Yeah. But then back to level one for the next mission. Yeah. So they have a persistent level now. Okay. Like you can see, I've got her yeah. up to level eight. And you get points. Uh, and, and I've been saving them. up skill points just so I could buy a bunch of stuff on the quick look. Okay. Well, She's got some awesome skills, but then again, they kind of all do. Uh, and each, even the pay guys, they all have totally unique skill uh, sets. Mm -hmm. So like uh, this one uh, gives her a backstab chance uh, with a, a smaller chance to just instantly kill a guy, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I'm going to max out her move speed. Let's see. This is a great one. She basically sends these illusions out, okay. uh, which do more damage. Uh, she is awesome. What's I'm, the one you're completely ignoring there? Shadow uh, dodge. Dodge chance. Like she's actually not as frail as you would think as being the sort of quick uh, agility character. 
Uh, she actually has a decent amount of health, but but you know that's a dodge chance for sure. I'll give her that. All right. Uh, I really I played so much of the first one. I really came to love the ranged characters because you can use them to kite enemies around. Mm. It takes a lot more micromanagement, but oh, also the, they can hit the flying enemies, right? Yes, and there's also that. Uh, it's it's super useful. Oh, you know what? Let me back up here uh, because and, and I guess anybody coming into this surprise, it's a tower defense. Hey, game. guess what? Yeah. But and don't snicker because I can hear you. It is arguably the best tower defense game ever made. Do you can hear me? I thought the gate would cut my it is, on. it is so... Oh, is it the best thing ever? Effing good. It is, in fact, the best <laughs> thing ever as far as this stuff goes. This looks very similar uh, to Yeah, it. these are basically the same. I think a few of these have changed a little bit in, in what they do, but, but you know, you're going to want to max all of them out by the time you get to the really hard levels at the end. Well, can I cut to uh, the quick here, then? Let me just cut to the end of the interview. Yeah. What? Why is it... Is it worth it for me to go back in and, and get this if I still haven't finished the first one? This has, I'll show you as soon as we hop into the mission here finally. Let me just buy some stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I love the upgrades that make things cheaper. Um, so, let's hop in here. Some of this stuff you'll find extremely familiar. Uh, and some of it, like this, which I haven't gotten to try yet, but holy fucking shit. Look at that. Look at that! I'm are looking. You, are you looking at it? I'm I'm slowly looking at it. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to try my damnedest to upgrade my artillery to this tower in this okay. mission since I just got this, but if I'm reading this correctly, it does say controllable. I think I can actually run that thing around the map. Well, there's, there's I mean, you can move your heroes around. Yeah, that's you, that's the same. You know, if here's Mirage. You can, you can, uh, always, you can always move your uh, peasants around. Well, right? no, you spawn them. You can spawn the peasants, but then you can't control where they go after that. So let, uh, me, let, me, let me stop John and like get some stuff going here. What do we have coming in? These, so I'm in the jungle right now. There's like I've been fighting pirates. Like there's all new enemies. All the enemies are new. All the scenery is new. There's a ton of like unique stuff that goes on in each map. Is now. there a story? Uh, yeah, but I mean it's sort of it's goofy. You know, it's whatever. Uh, I'm oh, gonna say, goofy did it. I'm gonna put My artillery there. Some. There, just just, and like, just put one artillery and max it out. Uh, exact same uh, voice samples. So it's the same four basic towers. You got. Uh, Archer, uh, barracks, magic, and artillery. Mm -hmm. But the level four upgrades. Remember, you, you level them up to four yeah. in the last game, and then you can pick which yeah. one they evolve into. Warp. Yes. So all those are gone. All those level four evolved tower forms are totally replaced with new stuff. Uh, put Archer there. One thing I'm not a big fan of is a lot of these tower points you have to buy your way into now. What does that mean? That's just I have to burn 100 gold to clear out that spot to, oh, to, I see. to put something right mm -hmm. there, which is. You know. All right, let me get some stuff down here. Uh, and you can indirectly get gold through purchasing through the in-game store. You can buy like, well, a you bag can, of, a chest you can, of gold or something. You can buy that sack of with gold. gems. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let's get it on. So I just upgraded my uh, my my conscripts. They're not really peasants anymore to the ranged form. Uh, so I got all the stars in the first Kingdom Rush, all 95. Yeah. Which is one of the hardest things I've ever done in a game. Uh, and in the course of doing that, I really learned a lot about like the kind of the way to min max this game, mm -hmm. which is Does that like seem a, to be carrying over here. Yeah, totally. Like I said, it's like you want these ranged peasants as fast as possible because their their ranged attack does more than their melee. And it's a timed and cooldown, right? So you it can, is. You can spawn those. So you can spawn them as fast as you can, and and if you spawn them ahead of guys. They can get a bunch of range damage in before the guys get up on top of them. You know? <coughs> right. It's kind and of it's, like a free tower. Yeah, exactly. And the same reason that I like her so much because. Uh, so she, she just did her little mirage, uh, like, shadow dance thing. Um, same reason I like her so much. Oh, she's on fire, she's, dude. She's poisoned. Uh, is that, you know, again, since I got that max uh, move speed upgrade on her now, I'm just running her all over the map, and she's just dealing crazy damage. So you're micromanaging with yeah, her. Yeah, totally. See, see, I didn't do that so much. Like I just kind of sat my dude near the exactly. exit. Exactly. Like, I, that's, the, that's the way I started playing that game, but it gets so obscenely hard in the last few missions. Like, the iron challenges on the last set of, like, five levels. Just According obscene, <laughs> completely brutal. Um, I actually tried this mission on the bus and did not complete it. So these guys in the lower right, this guy, this green, glowing green guy coming yeah. in, huge problem. Is he? Does he resurrect guys? No, he's casting a like just basically an, ar an armor aura on these guys, uh, which makes everybody around him take absolutely oh, yeah. forever to kill. Yeah. 
But it, once you kill him, that, it disappears. Yeah, so I want to kill him if possible, and meanwhile these guys up top are going to be a real problem. Yeah. Because look at it, look at him just sponging damage up there. But you still have your cooldown nuke, or your time. I do, nuke, yeah. Right? You still got your, your kind of meteors from, from the sky. It's just got super long cooldown. Uh, yeah. So Shit, this is, this is looking rough. Uh, okay, I think we got him on this one. Put these guys down here. All right, I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep upgrading this artillery up here as much as possible because I need that robot. You can pause it and upgrade, right? No, I mean you can pause, but you oh, you can't, can't do anything. But okay. yeah, you have to do it in between. But I'm, I've been calling the waves in early because you get bonus gold when you do that. Is that um, volcano ever erupt? No, but you'll see, like I said, they've got a bunch of... They, they had a few scripted things in some of the maps in the first game, but they've added a ton more of that. And there's an interesting one here that should happen in a wave or two. According to plan. Um, so hopefully we'll get... Uh, oh, there it is! What? The Battle Mecha uh -oh. T-200. It's only 375. We're almost there. Um... Uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch of these towers up to level 4 because the main cool thing in this game is I want to show you all the new upgrades they've got. Yeah, definitely. Um, so like archers now, uh, oh god, this is yeah, getting you're, really, you're getting a little overwhelmed. This is turning into a, a bad thing. Those guys are just getting killed yep, up there! These guys are poison ranged guys, so... Like you, I think oh, you should nuke oh, there's, uh, nuke So there's the, you see this thing on the far right, yeah. this lady screaming. Uh, so I don't know what you get out of this other than, oh shit, my hero has no health. Let her stand and. Oh, I don't know about this one, bro. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Oh! Oh! Well, Have the... you saved her? I did the first time, and I got an achievement for it. I don't know what else you get for that. I guess you get gold out of killing Maybe that guy. Maybe you don't get the volcano killing your guys. Uh oh, god! You think it's gonna erupt because of that? No, you didn't see the. You don't see the things coming out of it. Oh Jesus! Oh uh, no, that happened the first time. Okay. That happened even when I saved her. All right. Uh, oh Jesus, this is so much to take in and try to talk over at the same time. Uh, so, one of the new archer uh, upgrades is awesome if I can get to it. So, it's the one at the bottom here. I made this kind of like totem, yeah, looking thing. Uh, so that can drop a totem on the on the map that right in front of it that will dispel any aura effects that the enemies are casting. Oh, that's even important. So it's amazing for that green armor guy that I was having so much trouble with. Uh, but then they flip the script on you in this mission because it seems like all the green guys are coming bottom and the uh -huh. purple guys are coming top. But then they flip it uh, like halfway through, which is why I lost this mission because then the green guys start coming from the top. Uh, I've got so much extra money right now. Get that mecha. Yeah, I'm going to as soon as I deal with this wave. All right. Oh my God! Look at that fucking thing. Oh man. Can I? Well, hang on. Oh, okay. It's not fully controlled. Oh, it's got it's like everything it's, else. It's, it's got a little range. Yeah, it's like a it's like a barracks where I can I can I can waypoint it and tell it where to go. Oh, that voice sample is pretty cool. Uh. Oh, you know what? It's also it's not like uh. It's not like foot soldiers in that it looks like it won't stop guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it doesn't hang a guy up. Right. Uh, when they walk past it, they can just walk right by. And yeah, it seems like you can't crush them. No. Oh, oh, there's that guy again. Oh no. Get right. in the volcano. All right, I'm, I'm saving her this time. I don't know what it'll do, but I just honor honor compels oh, me. Oh, you got so many guys on the screen. Honor compels me to. Oh, dude, this is nothing. This is only five waves out of fifteen. This mission's gonna get fucked. Oh yeah, this. Oh, check this out. Listen. Who do those guys look like to you? Wait, I was watching that girl. What happened? On the... Oh, the Ezio guys? Yeah. Alright, good, you got it. So they, well, I don't know if it'll happen or not, but when they kill guys, they just straight up say Requiescat yeah, sure. in Pache. Like, this this game... The fuck? Oh, oh, he's in! Ah! Um... Oh god, that was close. Uh, yeah, like, they totally continue their tradition of just, like, shamelessly, aggressively lifting catchphrases from everything they can. To the point that, like, you can't even get mad about it, it's just funny, you know? So it's funny, I, I, I play the original Kingdom Rush mostly at night, kind of in bed, yeah. with the sound off. Oh, really? So, like, I didn't hear... Oh, you never heard any of that stuff? Well, I, when we did that quick look that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was when, like, kind of the first time I heard it. The first game is so stupid, I mean, they just straight, like, they don't even try to make a joke around the cake is a lie, they just straight up say the cake is a lie. You know? Yeah, I don't like, know if I really appreciate like, it as much as you did. I think it's, I think it's, it's like hilarious in how shameless it is. You know, like these guys will probably say that if you if you give them a chance. Uh, but the one of the things I like on them 
that I just upgraded is they have a chance to pickpocket gold. You can see oh, yeah. it popping up there totally. with the fighting guys. Yeah. It's like anything that earns you more gold in this game is absolutely crucial. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, this is getting rough. This is getting real bad. I don't know about your, uh, I don't know about your giant mech. Yeah, I'm not so sure that guy was really a good call. I don't know if moving him, being able to move him is doing oh! you though. Dude, oh, I think this is about the point where I lost uh, on the bus this morning. Let's see, what so, else can these guys do? They can get a sneak attack, sure. Uh, should probably. So bigger enemies soak or, or take off more hearts, right? Stop when they make that it guy! Ah! So close. Look how much fucking damage this guy takes. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, bigger, bigger enemies take off more hearts when they make it through the gate. Uh, yeah, yeah. And to get three stars, dude, look at that. This guy's just plowing. Look at him. He's taking no damage. Maybe you should buy a better hero. I guess. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man, lunch is starting. Oh, it's Caribbean Day! Yeah, I guess so. Thanks, CBS. I mean, we didn't get any food yesterday. You guys yesterday. need to wrap this up right now. <laughs> I know, Drew, Drew's on point. We gotta get this quick look done, because... Uh, the... Yesterday, with the, so they've been doing catered lunches here, yeah. I guess, because they were busy with E3. Yep. And yesterday was, like... Soul food. Fried chicken or something? I guess. I, well, it was all gone. That was the, and, that was the thing. And it started at 12. Yep. And by 12.06 when I went in there, it was gone. Yep. There was nothing. Bunch of fucking animals! Yep. Animals. Uh... Oh, man. Well, we've got, I'd say, five to ten minutes before that actually starts. It'll be gone. Uh, what is Caribbean food? Uh, probably like some jerk chicken. Um... Hang on, I should build some towers here. What do we want? Uh, I'm kind of, I'm a little disappointed. You're right in this robot. We'll see what it can do. Fires of all these two seeking missiles that oh. never miss. What about the? Uh, yeah, yeah. Drops, oh hell yeah. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. Um, let's just try to plow through the rest of this. Oh, what's this guy do? Average speed, range attack. Oh no. Yeah. Just bring guys back to life. So that guy. one of the uh, one of the new mage tower upgrades lets you bring enemies back as oh skeletons. that guy sucks. Yeah. Oh, he just brought those two dudes right back to life. Yeah, fuck that guy. Anything, I mean, anything in this game that uh, um, creates extra enemies or like an endless supply of extra yeah. enemies is is the worst news. Like you have to deal with those things immediately. Uh, not only because they soak up all your tower hits, but they don't give you any gold when you kill them, you know? He's just gonna bring those guys right back, isn't he? Yeah, that's uh, This is when it gets really fun, though. We're, uh, we're getting into that point here now where the, the gold is just starting to pile up, you know? Uh, and... You, like, haven't, uh, you haven't put much into your mage towers yet. Uh, no, I'd like to upgrade those, but uh, I'm trying to get... Whoa! Dude, yeah, it's right back to life. Yeah, oh, and sure. it's not even as a skeleton, is it? No, it's just no, sort of just... straight up, hey, the guy is alive again. Holy shit. This is horrible. Okay, so this is my... Well, no, I don't have enough money. The other uh, artillery upgrade in this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's no longer a projectile, it's just a giant, like, ground pound. Oh, that sounds useful. That just hurts and slows everything in the area. Oh, you need, uh, to, you need to kill that resin guy. Yeah, I'm trying. There's fucking... Oh wait, it's just the guy in the back, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that guy in the back. The resing. Yeah. Okay. He's almost down, but you know you can't aim your towers. You can't tell him who to hit. But you can get your hero in there, right? Yeah. But I think when, while he's being attacked, he can't do his thing. So there we go. Uh, oh, you got big birds. Yeah, now. these birds and suck. Dudes on birds. Oh shit! I think bottom is where I need to worry. All right, here's the ground pound. Uh, I think that bird's gonna make it through. Boom. No. No, they have like zero health. They don't last. Oh shit! That should not have happened. Uh, alright, well we'll get an upgrade on this mage tower as soon as possible. Oh man, it's a fucking green guy. Fuck this! Can I do anything else with these guys? I think that's like, what is that, a dodge chance? Yep. Oh, my hero in the- OH NO! Oh, she is- Fuck! God uh... damn this game. But she'll she'll time her. Uh, yeah, she'll back. she'll come back. But I'm I am rapidly running out of yeah. any fall. Oh, man, I'm fucked. Wait, drop some peasants down there. Fucked. Fucked. Dude, I haven't spent any gems, so I haven't bought any consumables yet. Yeah. You know, this is the first mission I've gotten to, and that's not to say I won't beat this mission. It's just that I 
I became such a perfectionist in the first game that getting any, anything less than 20 hearts, you know, like letting anybody through it all is, is feels like failure to me. I mean, this guy who's bringing people back to life is just a nightmare. Yeah, that's, Jesus, this is horrible. This is the first really hard mission I've seen. So, all right, I'll upgrade here. Uh, this one, I wonder if this, so I just made this like necromancer tower. There you go, skeleton. Uh, so I wonder if he will counter what this guy's doing with the resin. Yeah, so it's bringing those enemies back as skeletons for me now. Hmm. Uh, instead of letting that guy bring him back as enemies, you see what I'm, what yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Which is super helpful. In fact, that would have really saved my ass if I'd had that before. So, you, uh, who's that little blue glowy? Uh, I forget what his aura is. So, do you think a lot of this is uh, a little bit of trial and error, and just kind of like having memorized the, the order? Yeah, of like guys? like totally knowing what they're gonna do or what kind of waves are gonna show up. Look at the fucking green guy at the end is still there. Oh my god. Right, definitely definitely puts more in, in your favor once you know. Yeah, like once you know what to expect, what kind of guys are going to show up. Uh, oh my god, that skeleton tower is just saving my ass here. Let's see, what else can I do with that? Let's see. Poison Cloud. Someone's a Death Rider. Oh my god, he buffs the skeletons? Give me that. Look at that Death Rider. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. He's just chilling. This is kind of cool. These guys up here. Can you move him? No. Well, I can. Yeah, I can rally point him. Uh, so yeah, look at all those skeletons that are getting made out of these fallen enemies. That's this is huge. Uh, what else can I do? I'm gonna drop. Let's see. That's the dispelling totem. Oh! Uh, I can still get two stars. I think you have to be down to like five or six hearts or lower before you're uh, down to one star. Can I get sacrifice? Oh no! Oh no! Ah! She loves you. Dude, this mission did is she give you a, Did she give you a heart? Is that what happened? I don't know. Oh, giant gorillas. According to plan. Let's see. I've got a mage tower here. But no, no. These guys aren't that bad, actually. That's a really big gorilla. It is. I don't know. That guy's got like a shield on him, and that seems kind of rough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that guy's soaking up damage. I mean, they definitely sponge it, but, you know, now that he's down, I can go down and fight this one here. Oh, she's not close enough. Why are you not attacking? Thank you. Yeah, see, she does a massive amount of damage. Uh, what else? Poison Cloud. Hopefully I can... Oh, Jesus, this looks really bad. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm actually yeah. gonna lose this! Yeah. Oh yeah. fucking ding, dude. ding, ding, ding. Wow! I don't have a prayer. Uh. Yeah. Well, this is the first mission that I have out and out lost. All the others I've at least gotten through, with, oh. but, but like, I'm just gonna let it go because we're, we're not gonna get any food if we keep going with this. Also, I don't think we I have a choice. Dead. Crew says we're already there, but dead. I just I just lost anyway. Uh, but you get gems. Uh, yes, so I got you know it's just like the first game you get gems, so I could go um, I could go back and buy stuff out of the shop, you know, and mm -hmm. obviously having having some of these items would have been a game changer in that mission, and I may have to start getting some. But you, you didn't wind up using any items until you were on your second run through the uh, original, right? No, I tried to do... In fact, once I had really felt like I mastered that game, I was beating, like, the iron challenges at the end of the game without using any items in a lot of cases. Like, I, I started, like, basically challenging myself above and beyond the game itself. How, how um, do you get these orbs? Uh, these they just come with levels. So you earn these experience so you keep, skill points. you keep it even if you lose the... Yeah, so, so okay. that's awesome. Uh, I, you see that I leveled her up. She gained one level during right. that match, even though I lost. So you can almost like grind out uh, levels. Yeah, yeah. So I can, I could get her. Uh, I could either max out this dodge chance, or I think I'll do that. This is not available uh, on uh, on Android devices. No, they they came out with the first one on Android a month or three ago. So I would imagine this will come to Android too, but it's it, iOS only right now. Did it come to Steam um, eventually? So this game, Kingdom Rush, started as a, fl a free Flash game. And then the iOS version came out and was super popular, so, you know, they're kind of prioritizing iOS, iOS right now. But I want to say that a new, like, a remade version for PC got greenlit on Steam. Hmm. I think they're redoing the graphics and, like, making it better for PC. But not this content? 
Uh, no, the content of the first game. Okay. Uh, so I would, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that game, and then I would assume this one will also come. Okay. To Steam at some point. I think that's everything there is to show. I mean, these, are, like I said, these upgrades are kind of slightly different, but not totally. If you look in your encyclopedia, if you look in the enemies, do they have that dude who carries the woman over? I don't see him. I have yeah, fought some cool bosses. I like a lot of the theme, you know, there's a lot of Arabian Nights themed desert stuff and now I'm kind of in the jungle. What's that kind of like uh, <laughs> coy looking devil at the bottom? This one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like a genie? Yeah. He comes out of the lamp. Oh, these guys are horrible. So these parasites latch onto your guys and if they get a kill, they turn into these things, which are super hard to kill. Nice. Uh, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of interesting new items, or not items, uh, enemies in this game. Uh, the tower types, I guess I could just real quickly show you some here. Um, so like you get your Assassin's Creed guys, or your like more like uh, resilient kind of tangy guys. Uh -huh. um, this mage tower, uh, these these charges build up over time when it's not shooting, and then it'll shoot all of them at once when oh, it wow. does shoot, so it can kind of charge up. You saw that one. Um, I guess that's all the new towers. I guess I've gotten them all unlocked now. I've got the the two artillery. So uh, one of these towers. Oh, but you can't see. You know what? I don't. I can't see the. Can I? Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, that's everything. There was one other one I saw that buffs. Oh no, it's the. I don't. I don't think you can find them here. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't see your battle mecha in there. I'm kind of kind of rambling here. Sure. Because uh, there's a lot to look at in this game. It's the it's the two upgrades. You know, so you you get your three regular towers, and then you pick which of these two to to evolve into, and then each one of these has like three abilities you can get on top of that. So some of those abilities are really cool, like. Uh, I think it's this one has an ability that actually buffs the accuracy and range of all the towers around it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's some really neat ideas for oh, ways to... Oh, there's a battle mech at the bottom, sorry. The lower um, right, I see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, this, this game, uh, yeah. It's for, fucking awesome. It's, a, it's you, a pretty cool tower defense If you're game. not, like, all weird about tower defense being stupid, I don't know what <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people. Uh, this is this game is incredible. Yeah, it's definitely uh, one of the, the more fun ones out there. I know a lot of game des designers that are really into Kingdom Rush because it's a really you know it's a really intense like high level strategic game. If you get into the upper tiers of it, like there's a lot of customization, a lot of mechanics, a lot of control over how you do stuff. Uh, When's your game coming out? This game's out. This game is out on the App Store now. Four ninety nine. Uh, yeah, three three dollars on on the phone, five bucks on the tablet. Uh, in-app purchases about the same and not required to have fun with the game. I couldn't recommend it more. Aww. Thank you, Vinny. Thanks, Brad.